You ever see the movie Mrs. Doubtfire? If that movie got released today, I think conservatives would actually lose their mind. If Mulan got released today, I think conservatives would lose their Mind. It's a trans man. What are they doing to kids? They're poisoning, saying women can be men. The whole conservative movement is in a bind right now where their party is eating itself alive. On one end, you've got Donald Trump who's staring down the barrel of soon to be maybe multiple federal indictments, soon to be maybe multiple state indictments, at least one of each. And then on the other end, you've got DeSantis who, my God, just watching him work audiences is like Jesus. And then on the left, Biden has done a good job of just not being very hateable. He doesn't inspire a lot of passion and support, but he also doesn't inspire a lot of hatred. You know, It's really easy to get fired up hating Obama hating Hillary Clinton. But like, can you really get fired up like hating Joe Biden? Like I, he's just, he's not the kind of character that you can. So without the left to attack, without a person on the right to rally around, conservatives find themselves like, what the f do we talk about? It's not immigration. It's not the economy. It's barely foreign policy. It's not healthcare. It's all trans issues. So the past year and a half has just been the most ridiculous, obsessive fixation on that I don't think anybody cares about. I think that there are interesting arguments to be had about like the ontology of man and woman and what does it mean to redefine these things and blah, blah, blah. But like people are just like in the gutter. Their brains are fucking destroyed. I think an old person attacked like a little kid because they thought they were trans. And it was like, what the no. fuck? Yeah, I, I view a lot of these trans issues and or the drag issues especially is like the same where like people pretend to really care about them. But I think they're just kind of like proxies for the trans issues because I think right now conservatives just don't have much else to talk about.